Hello, this is about how to change the uh, vapor canister assembly on a 2015 2.7 liter EcoBoost uh, 2015 Ford Edge. So this is the assembly where you've got this canister here that uh, is the main problem in Ford's infinite wisdom. They decided to make this a heat shrink kind of uh, assembly here on the connection so where you could just replace that it makes it a lot more trouble because of the <clears throat> trouble trying to get that to actually close back up and seal properly but um, anyway you got you have three different lines to connect so six ends well actually five because two of them go into this combiner so just to you just pop the lid off on the, these. The sport model, you have you have some uh, nuts to release 10 millimeter. So here you can see I've already put this one on, uh, and this is an aftermarket one. It's not made quite as nicely, but it only costs like 60 bucks versus 170. Um, you can see the new canister down there and um, that clip there is a little hard to get off um, you stick a small screwdriver under here on this side and then you lift up on it you know kind of like pry it you know it's plastic though so just be careful and then there's a a, a electrical connection right there and that's a little tricky to get off honestly I didn't since I can't get the harness out of there I didn't um, I didn't um, try to see exactly how it connects I just put it back on and then finally this piece here with the slot kind of it's hard to get it to focus but that's mounts on just a straight metal piece. You just lift it straight up and then that comes off. So, you know, once you get that off, then you squeeze on this one. Um, this is the one that was on there. Uh, a little different, but what you end up doing is um, you gotta pop this up hang on gosh there see I got that popped up now and then you push down And it releases it. So if I push this back down, it's the lock. See? That's why you have to lift up this piece first. Then you push down on the tab. And then pop it off. Um, the other one up there is the same thing as this. Except this one squeezes on both sides to make it come off pop it off same with same with oh, where am I this one which is um, well, I'm not getting the camera in the right spot here it's right right here so a little harder to get to that one the worst one of all is the other end of the yellow this one and that one goes way down there behind the alternator so you can see where the alternator is and 
believe me, it's way down in there. You can get to it, but the angles are terrible. So the different thing about the why I wanted to make this video from everybody else is I want to tell you that on this one that is so hard to do this is probably a really good connector but it's tricky so this is what it looks like when it's in there is in this position like this forgive my camera stuff but I never make videos uh, so you can see right now it's the the tabs on this are kind of pushed forward because that's where they have to be to be disengaged see right now it's up now when you push this down now the tabs have uh, clicked over another piece that keeps it locked into place so this is actually better than the one I got because if I give it a quite a bit of force on the other one I can pull it off um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one on there it's hard to get off it's hard to get on because what you have to do is you have to make sure that both of these tabs are pushed forward so I'm gonna do this here well I don't have a camera holder so bear with me so I'm pushing the tabs forward and I'm forcing them down now when it's it's easy to do up here so I pushed them when I say forward, I mean this way. That direction, that direction. Because when they're up and locked in, you can see this little tab right there that it, that it clips over, right there. So if I were to push this bot, you know, from the bottom, and make these lock again it'll come up and then go back over this way now it's locked so to get it on you have to push you have to do it this way you have to do this and then hope you don't bump this and lock it again so another guy in a video he had put like a wire in here across it and then after he popped it on, he pulled the wire out and then got it to lock into place. Anyway, so let me get back to tell you why my video is better than some others is because you don't need to take this off. Silly me, I didn't even notice it and nobody ever mentioned it in any of the other videos. But you can, all you have to do is, there's a couple of tie wraps right here in the middle that tie it to this. Right here. It's, uh, it's on there, something like this. So really, all you need to do is cut that loose, leave it where it was, and only do this part because this is the problem so there's no reason to even mess with the other one you just take those white clips off and then the green one back there and you know that one's a little tricky too but not nearly as bad as the one at the bottom and then Put a tie wrap on back on across the middle here this one only came with one so how silly is that so i wrestled with that thing for two hours i probably could have got it done in 15 minutes 
didn't even notice it. I was so focused on what everybody was saying was the hard one to do it. You don't even need it. I don't even know why they bother selling you that piece. There's no, there's no reason to, to change that piece. I don't even know why they didn't include it. So there it is.